So who are the absolute worst managers in MLB history? Last video we went over the best. Today we're going to go over the worst, okay? And by the way, if you're a baseball fan, this is your first time for the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification next to it. Check out the videos that I've already put out and make sure you don't miss the ones I'm going to be bringing out for moving forward. So if you're a baseball fan, this channel's for you, okay? So with that, let's get to the list. I've got eight. And keep in mind, you're going to notice a trend. This is not a 10 or 15 or 20 year sample because generally in MLB, as you know, if you don't really do well over a couple years, they get rid of you and replace you with somebody that hopefully will. So with that said, let's get to the list. Okay, and you're probably not, there's going to be some names you'll recognize and some that you won't. Number eight, Dave Tremblay. Um, career, he had a sub four, sub uh, 400% winning percentage. Okay, so not very, not very uh, good. Mostly with Baltimore. They had talent for quite a long time, but, you know, Recently, they have not had much talent. They traded away a lot of that talent. But during his years, he was generally there 2008, 2009, 2010. They had a decent amount of talent on that team. So he didn't really do much with the talent. But he went. Uh, his best block with Baltimore was when he went 40 and 53 in a mini sample. He was 68 and 93 in 2008. They were 64 and 98 in 2009. And when he was fired in 2010, they had started. They went off to a. Uh, they went. They started with a 15 and 39 start to the season, so not very good, not even close to a winning year at any year. So he's number eight. Number uh, seven, Bob Guerin, a former Oakland A's manager. His career was he had a .470 winning percentage. He had a ton of talent to work with in Oakland, but it just never materialized into a successful team. He was also he was also known as an absolutely awful communicator. So he always clashed with players and other folks. Um, so that's one of the things that were the drawbacks for Garen. By the way, this is my research book. This is all true. You can look it up. Um, it was funny is a lot of folks were under the impression that the reason why he got the gig is because he was best man at Billy Bean's wedding. He was the best man at his wedding. So there was a lot of folks were under the impression that's why he got the gig. But he definitely wasn't the best man in uh, Billy Bean's eyes for manager, that's for sure, because he was gone. Um, and one of the players that kind of called out his awfulness was Houston Street, former closer for the Oakland Athletics. Always clashed with Garen. Number six, Larry Rothschild. He was uh, he was a Yankees pitching coach for quite some time recently, actually, but then he was fired, and I think he's over in San Diego now. But he actually had a stint as a manager, too. Tampa Bay, when they were first coming up as an extension team, um, he did have some talent over, you know, once after a couple of years. But, you know, they had, remember those awful teams, those extension teams had high draft picks every year, like number one or number two. So he was able to accumulate talent over a short period of time. Um, you know, he did have a lot of good hitters too, even though they were veteran on the older end to complement these young draft picks. But uh, his career was at, was 205 and 294. So it was a... 0.411 winning percentage, so it wasn't very good, and he was last place in every season he coached here, which four consecutive seasons they were dead last. So uh, he never actually he never had a 70 win game season, 70 game win season. So uh, number five, Roy Hartsfield. I'll keep it simple. <laughs> 0.343 winning percentage. He went 166 and 318 with Toronto. So you need to explain it anyway. That's a pretty bad. <laughs> Number four. Lee Elia, familiar name, a relatively familiar name. He coached with Phillies and Chicago Cubs. He had a .442 winning percentage. Uh, his best, absolute best year was fourth place. Um, and uh, But he is well known and famous for his press conference in, as a Chicago Cubs manager. His team started the 1983 season. With, they went 5-14 and 14 to start the season. They were being booed mercilessly, and so was he. And he had this post he had this post game tirade. Uh, if you take a look at it, I'll see if I can find it. I'll put it in the description down below. But he's well known for that, aside from his brutal managing record, uh, which puts him number four. Number three, Al Padrique. He was with Arizona when they were kind of relatively new, Diamondbacks. Um, he did take over for Bob Brenly in 2004, and he proceeded to lose 19 of the first 21 games that he managed. And that was just phenomenal. <laughs> and, uh, and then he went, uh, proceeded to go 22 and 61 for a .265 winning percentage. And then he was fired. So short sample, but awful. Never had an opportunity again in the majors. 
Number two, Alan Trammell. Hall of Fame player from the Detroit Tigers. He was there with Sparky Anderson was managing. He played with Lou Whitaker. They had great teams. Great teams. Hell of a player. Not a good manager. Um, he lost 119 games in his first year as manager with Detroit in 2003. And then he went uh, proceeded to go 186 and 300 over the th course of his three years as manager for a three point or point three eight three winning percentage. He's number two and number one, Mr. Buddy Bell. Career in two different eras. So in Detroit, he was 184 and 277 for point three nine nine winning percentage, and then he actually had the same exact winning percentage over in Kansas City, where he proceeded to go 174 and 262. Pretty brutal. Um, in nine years, six of those years, his teams were last place. And even though he did go 82 and 80 with Colorado in 20, uh, 20, 2010, was it 20? Yeah, 2010. I think it was 2010. Um, they had a good year. They also had a lot of talent. His record overall as manager was pretty brutal. So those are the eight worst managers in Major League Baseball history. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Uh, and this video was a request from somebody as well, so I hope you enjoyed it too. If you have any other requests for videos, put them in the description down below. If you have feedback, put them in the comments down below. I respond to everybody's feedback. Um, in the meantime, keep looking out for each other. All right, Be safe out there, and I will talk to you next time.